Tell me about your research, a virus that eats cancer. Yes, so we are developing recombinant viruses. So these are genetically engineered viruses. And we engineer them to be specific for certain kind of tumors and not to attack normal cells. And this virus that has been discussed a lot in media lately, it's a virus that is specifically replicating, meaning multiplying inside neuroendocrine tumor cells. So neuroendocrine tumors, they can come from different organs, uh, a lot along the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, they can come from the pancreas, for example. Steve Jobs uh, had a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor and he died from that one. So these are relatively slow-growing tumors and they are also relatively rare. So the perspective for, for patients are pretty good. But with metastatic disease, there is no cure today. So that is where we hope that our virus can make a difference. Of course, even if it can just prolong survival or prolong uh, disease-free time, uh, it would be a big achievement. Yes, so the virus that we have now, we have done all the preclinical testing of it. We have tested it on cell cultures, we have tested it in animal models, and it looks really promising in, in stopping the growth of tumors in, in mice. But to find out if this is also true for, for cancer patients, we have to bring it to a phase one clinical trial. And to do that costs a lot of money. It is very expensive to perform clinical trials, especially on, on such an advanced product as a recombinant virus, which uh, requires a lot of more testing than, than other pharmaceutical drugs. So at the moment, uh, with the fundings that we have from the Swedish Cancer Society and the Children Cancer Society, etc., uh, they, they, they found the research of development of these viruses, but the grants are not big enough to cover clinical trials. So that we have to get from somewhere else. And that is why we now are, are trying to attract attention from the public and ask for donations. And this idea to donate money uh, to this kind of research came from an English journalist and author. His name is Alexander Masters. He has a friend that has a neuroendocrine tumor and he contacted me uh, because of this, asking what is happening to our viruses. And I said that at the moment they are stuck in the freezer. We don't have the money to perform clinical trials with them. So Alexander then said that, so why? I mean, we discussed a million, maybe two million pounds. He said, that's, that's a banker's bonus. Uh, why can we not get that kind of money to do trials? And then we discussed a bit further and he suggested that, so what if someone wants to donate this kind of money? Would you be willing to name the virus after him or her? And I said, yeah, sure, that's, that's a good idea. If, if that can make this virus be released from the freezer and make some, makes, uh, some use in the clinic, I would be happy to do that. So the virus has been kept in the freezer for a long time now? Yes, it has been developed two years ago now. So it has been in the freezer. So what we have in the freezer is, of course, not uh, the clinical preparation that can be used in, in human trials. So we need to produce it at clinical grade, test it extensively, and get all the authorizations from the Swedish Medical Product Agency and the Ethicals Committee uh, before we can do a clinical trial. And this costs a lot of money, uh, especially the production and testing of the virus. So that is why we need, uh, urgently need uh, to get money from the public and small and big donations are most welcome.